So today we're going to be making some Halloween ornaments using these Dollar Tree metal bottle cap hangers. And then I also bought one of the star shaped ones. So the supplies for this are going to vary on what you want to do with yours. So what I'm going to be doing to these ornaments is I'm going to go ahead and print up an image of what I want. You can print up a portrait of your family for Halloween or um, you can go on online and go on Google and search, you know, whatever image you want. I went ahead and I searched the peanuts, the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown one. I printed a whole bunch of different ones, but you can print whichever one you want. Now I'm going to show you really quickly what I did. What I did was I just went ahead and I just placed my bottle cap on top of my image. And then I traced the circle at the bottom here around my image. Then I cut it out. And then I have this here. Now I know that you could see the white here at the bottom and a little bit at the top. As you guys can see, it's gonna go in here like this. But what you can do is you can either cover down here with something, I, I don't know, whatever you want down here at the top as well. But I am gonna use this one here. I cut this Evil Queen one out. And what I did is I just went around and I added a little rhinestone right here like if it was her ring for this here as you guys can see what I did was for her crown I just used some of this puffy 3d paint in the color gold glitter and I picked this one up at Walmart and then I used the uh, studio G from Michaels to do this part right here as you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see because of the, sh the shine the glare but um, and then for the apple, all I did was put a little bit of glue and then a little bit of this glitter from Dollar Tree on there. And so that's what I did with this image. So embellishments for this one that I'm going to do is I picked up these apples at Dollar Tree. You get eight in a pack. They're just wooden apples. And what I did to these, but what I did with those little wooden apples is I made little poison apples see that this one has glitter and it's black and then this one is red and then I did them without glitter right here so whichever one you would like I don't like too much glitter I love the way glitter looks but I don't like too much glitter because of the fallout but to prevent fallout then once you do this then you can go ahead and put white glue over it so that way you don't have any fallout but here they are with and without glitter and these were a little tricky to do uh i have some here let me show you guys so what i did was i painted the whole wooden apple and then i just drew if you guys can see with pencil i just drew my outline of what i want and same thing with this one right here you guys can see and then i went ahead and you can use a sharpie if you want also um to do this if you wanted to do that I just used paint and the paint that I used was just a regular black paint on this nothing special just black paint and then for the red apple I use the folk art uh, cardinal red and you can buy that at you know any uh, craft store but uh, and then what I did is I went ahead and I just put with a little fine small little pointy brush like this with some white glue and I went all around it and then I just went ahead and I sprinkled my glitter and then it looked like this now in the areas that you have the eyes and the nose if it gets covered get another one of these little brushes and then just push the glitter out of the face but you can also get a little uh, sharpie and go back in there and you know color your eyes and your nose again if you wanted to do something like that but that's how easy these are. It just takes a little time and patience for these little apples because they are really tiny. Now also for my little evil queen one, Dollar Tree brought out these stickers here. They have them in different uh, styles, different colors. As you can see, I have this one in orange and I think it's so pretty. Look at this. I might use one of these here. I'm not sure which one on here. And then um, you can use pretty much any embellishment you want, a ribbon, to make a bow, anything that you want. I'm just gonna show you how I make this one. I'm gonna show you, I already did one. This is what this one looks like right here. And this is this 
star here. And let me tell you, I painted this one on the inside and on the outside. The back, you can see how it looks. This is how it looks like when you paint it. You, this is a couple coats of paint on this side. I will say that if you paint it, I mean, you can spray paint it as well, but if you paint it, and this is just acrylic paint, it's gonna chip off. So you don't have to worry about painting it. You can just leave it like this or just take it outside and spray paint it with um, a spray paint that's for metal. But what I did was I cut an image out, as you guys can see in here, and I just cut her out. And in the back, what I used was scrapbook, scrapbook paper. And here is the scrapbook paper. And as you can see, I traced the star on there and then I cut it out to fit the inside. You could barely see it, but you could see in the background. And then I just put glued rhinestones all around. I put like a little ring on her finger here. Um, and then in the inside, I use some of this from Dollar Tree, this um, diamond wrap. And, and then this right here is just left over that tinsel from that witch hat that Dollar Tree sells. When I create, see right here, when I create, this is what it looks like. When I create my wreath, I take off the tinsel and I always save my pieces. And I always tell you guys, save it because you never know if you might need it down the line. And so I did. I used it on here. And then I just created a little bow. I did a little hanger like with this. And then this is what it looks like. I will say that um, she kind of gets lost in there. So what I would do is I would get some like styrofoam or something, a little block, and then put it back here and then glue her on that little block so she can look like 3D because um, honestly, she gets lost in there. This is one. So basically, I'm going to teach you how I did that. I'm a little different, but in with this one here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hanger off because I don't need this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and add regular white glue and put it right in there. I'm not painting this one at all. Make sure you know where your holes are at, right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put her right in there. So make sure she's centered to when you hang her like this. And because you're using white glue, you can move her around and get her positioned to where you want her to be or your image, whatever image you use. Okay, just like that. Now, when you use a printable, just know that you have to use a laser inkjet printer because if you use regular ink, a regular printer, when you start to decoupage on here, it will bleed. So if you don't have one, you can always go to like a Staples or a Kinko's and then have them go ahead and print it out for you. And it doesn't cost that much. So that's what she looks like so far in there. And then this right here, what you can do is either put this in the inside here of the ledge, the edge here, or because I'm not painting this, you can go right in here on the actual bottle cap and then just stick this on there just like that all the way around in the inside you can also use say if you wanted to use the diamond wrap you can also use the diamond wrap in there also I have lights that we can also tie around or like glue around the bottle cap and so we're just gonna see what we come up with so just keep on watching and I'm just gonna go ahead and create something right Cut one little piece from here to put right here that I was missing one little spot. I'm starting to get little bubbles as you guys can see. Make sure you spread this out really, really well. You can add a little dab of glue right there. The outside, if you wanted to decorate the outside as well, you can. Maybe something like this on the outside. I'm not sure what else I wanna do. You can also make a bow. I'll probably put it right up here like this and glue it. And then maybe put a 
apple right there like that. This ribbon is from Michaels from a long, long time ago. And that's what I just did. Just a little bow, regular bow, right on there like that. Okay, friends. So here's this one done. And it's just very basic, very, very simple. This is just a regular bow. Anybody can make that bow. And as you guys saw, I glued the knots right here uh, where the holes were at so that it doesn't go through but I did knot it several times so the knot could be kind of big and that way it wouldn't go through the hole but I went ahead and I secured it anyways with hot glue and then I didn't want to go all the way around with this uh, rhinestones and that I got um, god I've had that for many many years and it's I believe from Michaels these little um, like diamond wrap type of things and so I cut one little piece of this uh, wrap here from Dollar Tree because it was off just by one and so it really didn't matter because I kind of I glued the apple there but you could still see a little bit underneath so I didn't want it to be uh, a big chunk missing from this little wrap around here and then the bow again this ribbon is from Michaels as well um, the the ribbon I got many many years ago but this is my take on a little ornament for Halloween, for your Halloween tree. And yeah, this is so simple to make. Really, really, really simple. Again, I just this is just from the leftover witch uh, hat that they have at Dollar Tree. The um, It's a witch hat that uh, you would hang like on your door or wall or wherever. And um, I save, I always save like all this little tinsel. And yeah, that's one ornament there here's the other one in star basically you're doing the same thing to this one but just in star shape and i will probably do one more the charlie brown one right here so for this one the great pumpkin one what i'm going to do is i'm going to do basically the same process glue this on there i'm going to use some moss from dollar tree i also have some of these little pumpkins that i may use as well I have this uh, jewel stickers here from Dollar Tree and I may use this I'm not sure uh, for this and then I have a piece here of ribbon that I've had for a long time I don't know if I have enough to make a little bow but if I do I'll make a bow with this this is, I know I've got this a long 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 time ago at Walmart but yeah this is the only thing I have left of it let me begin with this uh, Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown ornament. So again, you're starting off with some of this glue, the white glue on here, just to make sure that your image that you printed stays on here. You don't need to saturate this with a bunch of glue thin layer will do. I'm going to use this little tool from Dollar Tree to make sure I get all the bubbles out. I learned that from that one. That one over there had all the little bubbles. This is not perfect. Just wanted to let, let you guys know. I kind of had to tweak it and cut it here and there. And as you guys can see, it's sticking up here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue in here and then push this in. And then hopefully this doesn't come off. This part doesn't matter because I am gonna be adding some moss, moss under here. And um, yeah, that's just um, part of doing DIY. Some things will work and others will not. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little dab of glue on here being very careful not to burn myself just trying to get these guys to stay down and hopefully they don't move on me okay that's basically it I didn't cover the little holes I tried to leave the holes open so I can add 
my ribbon in here so I can hang this. All right, friends, so here is this one. I'm not done with it yet, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So I had some little pumpkins here. I had that little extra pumpkin and a pick. I was using what I have here in my home. I painted those little, um, these little wood pieces that they sell at Dollar Tree. And I did one in this color, and then I did one like in a candy corn color. and. Obviously this one gets lost in there, but this one actually comes, you could see it with all this black underneath. And I'm thinking of gluing it somewhere like that on the side, but I'm thinking like maybe something like that right here. And, uh, and then that should be done. Okay, my friends. So here is what I did. I went ahead and I glued my Happy Halloween in an angle. I think I like that better. You could still see Linus a little bit right here and you can barely see the um, pig pen over here on this end and you know I'm gonna be on a hunt for a little Snoopy because I want to put a little Snoopy on here but what I did is I glued some lights and I, so what I did to glue the lights on basically it took me a while that's why I didn't record it it was just trying to get them to how I want them but all I did was I glued the back battery pack in the back let me show you guys like this as you guys can see and then of course the part that opens is facing out and then I basically started gluing the bats down and then I brought them through here brought out the remainder of the lights through here and then glued one here and then I started just to glue them all around and hiding the wire here as well so let me turn them on so you guys can see and that is what that one looks like friends i went ahead and i cut a little image of snoopy i went on to google and i searched you know halloween snoopies and this came up and i printed him and i just cut him and then i put him behind a cardboard a little piece of cardboard and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and use one of these uh like jenga blocks glue him on here and then glue him on here like this and it's, he's just a little wet right now, that's why I'm not doing it, but I just put some of this glitter glue from Dollar Tree on here as you can see. He's so cute. So once he dries, I'm going to go ahead and glue him onto this little block here like this so he's nice and sturdy. Then I'll glue him on here. Like so here is what it looks like once I've already glued it. You can see back here is that little tower building block from Dollar Tree. and. I just went ahead and I put Snoopy on there and one of these little bats came undone but you know what I like the way it looks just like that where it's coming out like that so I'm gonna leave it like that I had glued it right here with the hot glue but it came off but I really do like the way that looks so anyway this is what it looks like here's an up close so you guys can see and then I'm gonna light this one up at night so you guys can see how it looks with the lights but I absolutely love these these are so cute. This one is cute, but my favorite, this evil queen. I should put lights on this one. I'm sure this one will look really good with lights. But if I do, you guys will see it on my tree. I will go ahead and um, I'm going to go put my tree up. And that way I could put them on there so you guys can see what they look like. And that's how simple these guys are to do. So I hope you guys get inspired and create some of these of your own. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.